welcome back to uh, my blog stoutwithelaine.com um, today we are going to have a look at this lovely mosaic madness set it, you can buy them separately and it's available both in wood block I've got the wood block set and clear block and if you buy it together with the punch you'll actually make a 15% saving um, there will be a supply list at the end of the video um, I've listed the supplies I've actually used so if you do want clear mount then um, have a look through the catalogue for the appropriate numbers the greeting set we're going to be using um, to go with the card is this one called really good greetings it's got some lovely sayings in it and the card we're going to make is this one um, which also uh, makes use of the scoreboard so it's not just for scoring boxes you can score cards and make patterns on it as well I've cut a, a sheet of coastal cabana um, and it measures 8 inches across and 5 and 3 quarter inches wide we're going to use the thinner end of the stylus to score at 4 inches so that's where the fold of your card's going to be the colours we're working with today are coastal cabana, baked brown sugar um, pistachio pudding, crisp cantaloupe, sorry I've cut um, an overlay for the card and it's just a quarter of an inch smaller than the actual card itself so it's five and a half that way and three and three quarters that way I always use a stamp-a-ma-jig um, <clears throat> some things you can do by eye and some things you can't and this is one of the occasions where where you just simply can't if you want accuracy so I'll line that up on my grid paper I think what I might do is just put a little bit of um, removable adhesive on there so that my card doesn't move so how you use the stamp -a jig is you need to butt your imaging sheet into the right angle corner of this t-bar um, I've already pre-stamped it um, in black stays on ink so I can see it better so if that's where I want my first mosaic to go then I pop that there butt this up to the t-bar remove it and then stamp my first stamp this is in pistachio pudding like so then for my next image I want it to go there so I'm lining up the corners butt it up to the t-bar again my wooden block is flush with the t-bar and stamp down and then the next one is along here and I want this in coastal cabana remove the Im imaging sheet do the same here now you see why I needed to put some um, temporary adhesive on the uh, cardstock here because the t-bar is off the paper so if that's not secure that would have just moved so that's why I had to do that then last one I think and that one's in brown baked brown sugar right now I'm going to tackle this corner so the first one is in pistachio pudding get that lined up stamp that in coastal cabana Okay, 
brown sugar and the last one up here in crisp cantaloupe okay peel that off bring it closer so it's where I want the images to be now I'm going to do the scoring so I want it half an inch in so I'll bring my ruler here half an inch in and half an inch above this so if that's three and three quarters then that will be three and a quarter so I need to put a mark there and put a mark there And then rotate it and I want that half an inch in so I'll make a mark there because that's where um, I want the scoring to be mark here half an inch in so it's roughly about there Now the reason I'm making these marks is because I want I want this to be embossed so I want this bit whoops to be raised if I score it like this with the images I stamp face up then the raised bit will be underneath and I don't want that by making marks in my cardstock then I just know where my score line should be so I can flip the card over and do my score lines from there to there and I have to rotate it to there there to there. Now I've taken that point and gone towards the middle and the point from here towards the middle so I don't extend beyond the line accidentally. Oh I haven't marked that bit so I think I better mark it. I forgot. So that should be down about here. Okay. So this is just a single line one. Um, I did double there. Um, so all you have to do is just move it out an eighth of an inch. But I'm just going to leave it single. Um, as it's got the Coastal Cabana background, I think I'll use the Coastal Cabana for the wording on this and I'll use a different one. So pop that on there. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on here, not too far out, otherwise um, you'll see the glue lines. And the reason I'm doing that is sometimes if you apply the glue directly to hit, uh, the Whisper White cardstock, it, sometimes it shows. But if you put it on um, the thicker cardstock, um, you've got um you don't have a line or a mark and using Tombow it also gives you a bit of wiggle room so there you go there's your card so to dress the card I'm only going to use some rhinestones might punch this one see if you make a mistake with something you can always find a use for it elsewhere 
and um, I inked up the edges on here and then decided I didn't like it I preferred it plain so I can still use these and use it for scrap so um, where's the glue Pop a bit of glue on the back there pop it inside the card And what shall we have inside? Finally a day that's really you, all about you. Live like life like you imagined. I think that's a nice one. There you have it. Live life you've imagined. That was a really quick and easy card um, showing you a different way to use your scoreboard. Um, so come back another time for more inspiration from stampwithelaine.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.